You asked what our favorite Bible verses are, and uh, I thought I'd share a couple of mine with you. I have a lot of favorite Bible verses, but I'll share a couple of my absolute favorite. First of all, in the very beginning, in Genesis, on the first day, God created day and night, but waited till the fourth day to create the sun, moon, and stars? That seems a little strange. Hmm. God obviously didn't know how light was created. Also, if you are the product of, I don't know, your parents not being married and you being born out of wedlock, then you are a bastard. And according to God and the Bible, you automatically go to hell. You have no choice. And all the way to your tenth generation, you'll go to hell. That's not very fair. That doesn't sound like a very nice God. And by the way, that's uh, Deuteronomy 23.2. And uh, so many people have issues with homosexuals in this religion. But it's so funny that a few chapters before, um, which by the way, uh, homosexuality is an abomination, Leviticus 18.22, which I'm sure a lot of you know. But um, Leviticus chapter 11, verses 10 through 12, is uh, if you eat shellfish, that's actually an abomination. So I'm sure most of you are going to hell. Um, if you're a woman and you teach or have any authority in any way over a man, that's a sin. Um, because according to 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 9 through 14, um, that's not actually allowed and women are supposed to be silent. Let's see, and also, um, the story about David and Goliath that we all know and we're all taught in Sunday school was actually complete bullshit. It was a sugar-coated version to tell five-year-olds, I guess, to help with the brainwashing. Um, but what really happened was uh, David knocked Goliath out with a rock, then took Goliath's sword and decapitated him. I'm guessing that's not very child-friendly. And by the way, that's 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 51. And also, the Bible preaches so much hate, which is sick, and so many people claim to get their morals from the Bible, which if that's true, I don't really want you around me, um, because it teaches about racism and killing everyone. And also, how to beat your children. Specifically, there is a way to beat them correctly, if you look at Proverbs chapter 20, verses 29 through 30. And um, pretty much if you don't beat your children, Proverbs 13, 24, then you don't love them. Um, you can beat the foolishness out of your kid. And stubborn and rebellious children should be taken to their town elders and stoned to death. Wow, I should have died a long time ago.